that was unlocked. Let's have a look, shall we? It is unlocked, I can't believe it. The ladder's secured though, oh my god. It's a brake, I think it turns around. There's a motor for the brake, look. Oh my God. There's the actual motor. And that is the floor selector. That tells, I'm absolutely shaking at the minute. Actually, is it the floor selector? No, it's not. What's that do? It's like a switch if the, uh, maybe that's the um, over travel switch. When it pulls that down, it um, engages that. It's the governor. Oh no, look at this. Pulley system. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at this. This is the floor selector. If only I could get this go to, to go to a floor, that'd be cool. This is an old Schindler floor selector. Okay, all the connections are here, and what happens is, when the lift moves, it activates all these um, cables, and it turns this big drum, look at that. It turns that big drum, and this tells the, um, the relays inside there where the lift is. So, what we got here? There's a contact to this side, as with all lift machinery. Do not touch, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. I think going somewhere else, look at these relays. That speed. <laughs> it's all switches. Amazing. Wish I could try and work this out a bit better. There's some contacts on here. These are all linked together. Um, there's some roller switches on here that go into these indents and that is where the lift is so to adjust the floor levelling level in, all you do is you take out that screw and you move it left or right and then the lift will be um, levelled higher or lower so I've got no idea where the lift is now but um, this is how the Schindler floor selector works Isn't that cool? Let's have a look at this cabinet now then. Old styles. Are these fuses? These are fuses.
What the hell does that do? It looks like a motor. It's not connected to anything. Alright, these are all the relays. Now these are typical Schindler relays. Let's see if we can see what the coil is for these relays without touching anything. Well, I can't see behind there, but the camera can. Um, oh, look. Um, that's door open. I'm not quite sure. Up collector, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't know. That's a timer. Could be a door timer. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Don't know what that is. These are all the. Oh, look at these big relays. See the big electromagnets behind there? They um, connect voltage onto the motor to make it go up and down. Um, actually, it's probably these ones. Actually, these are much bigger. Um, uh, resistors. Diagrams. We've got the diagrams of how it used to work. I wonder what date these go back to. Is there a date on them? Oh, here we go. Another one. Another customer. That is going round. Right when it goes back on again. <laughs> oh my god, this is wicked, that's an old stop button. So apart from the uh, the door photoelectric beam and that, this is an original. Unlocked. <laughs> well, there's a brake um, turned off. I've got to get out of here yet. <laughs> All right, guys. Is there anything else you want to see? I think I've done about everything up here. It's the governor. These are quite simple devices really. What it does is, this goes around and it makes this wheel bounce. And if it bounces too much, i.e. the lift is going too fast, then it presses up the switch at the top and that shuts down the lift. Better get out of here in a minute. <laughs> Wow, this is absolutely brilliant. It's like an add-on module for some kind. Hmm. But this is amazing. Let's have a closer look at that switch. Hmm, so what do you reckon these are for then? One of these must be for where the position of the lift is. Um, I can see, yep, maybe well, it's on the top floor at the minute, so that could be the third floor, and that could be the second floor, first floor, and ground floor maybe? Oh no, there's an indent there. Look. Oops. So indent there, so that must be a level. Ground. Indent there, that must be a level. Ground. Indent there, that must be a level. And what I think is these must be like slow down switches or something. I'm not quite sure. Ah, but you see these switches here? Yes, this is what it is, look. One of these is probably a slow down. And one of them, when they're both on, it actually stops the lift going. You see what I mean? So when the lift goes around, that's on one level there. This bit comes around. The first roller switch uh, goes up on here. That's a slow down, and it goes even further, it keeps rotating around. Then when the second roller switch goes onto this plate here, that stops it. Which, let me press one of the buttons inside the lift car to um, demonstrate that, but the golden rule with these motor rooms is, you don't touch anything because there could be 415 volts on some of these. 
too hot. I'm absolutely sweating up here. It's really hot. Oh, there's a date on it. 1968. There we go. Wow. It's before I was born. And probably before most of you guys were born. <laughs> there's an old motor down there. Just talking about these relays. The electromagnet is behind there. And what it does is it pushes all of these contacts and it actually pushes it forwards. So these at the front here, they actually disconnect from the top wires and the ones in the middle actually connect to those wires. And um, with each relay there's up to five different switches that you can have. Now these are called normally open contacts and these are called normally closed contacts. And you can see that some of them are spare, but some of them are paralleled up. So I reckon that these are the buttons inside the lift.